All right, guys, so today was ripe with canon rumors, and we kind of expected it with the fact that tomorrow morning is when everything kind of happens. Canon rumors, full of stuff today. So the big one that I wanted to talk about was right here where it says that Canon EOS R5 and Canon EOS R6 and their lenses, of course, had their prices released. So all their prices kind of came online. 99.9% .9 that these are accurate. So if we click on here, now it looks like the majority of the pricing didn't really matter if you were in US or if you were in the UK, the pricing amount looked the same. So if it was $24.99 US dollars, it looked like it was coming in at $24.99, I believe British pounds. I think that's how it works. Now for those of us like myself in Canada, we're trying to do this dollar conversion, so we're not completely sure, but some of these prices and again, if you're looking at the R6, it really puts the R6 into a very still pricey unit when you're looking at the possibility of a body with a lens. I know for me, I'm probably gonna end up just getting the body because with these prices right now, as you see right here, buying the body with a kit lens doesn't seem to be really of any kind of benefit. If anything, in regards to some of them, you may be actually saving yourself a dollar if you were to buy them separately. And I'll use the R6 body with the 24 to 105 STM lens. 24.99 is what the R6 body is by itself. You're looking at 38.99, and that would be with the kit lens. But if you and I were to buy the body and the kit lens separately, it would come in at 38.98. So you'd save yourself a buck. Why would I buy a kit? Usually I would think that Kits would save you at least a little bit, you know, save me 10, 20, $50. Nope, you get to pay a dollar more, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's what it is. I'm not overly sure why Canon priced them this way. Now, the other thing is, again, if you look at the R6 with the 24 to 105, again, here in Canada, you're pushing close, close to $5,000 Canadian. And that's before you, add in any kind of taxes. So definitely 5,000 plus, which for me definitely pushes me over the limit. So I'm definitely still looking at the Canon R6. I do have a lot of lenses right now. I do wish that there would be some pricing of some kind of kit right here, possibly that had the EF to RF Canon adapter in there or multiple kits possibly with the different style adapters. Cause we have the RF adapters that have the ND filter slot in them. And then we have just RF adapters that are just plain and simply adapters. Would have loved to have seen some kind of kit that includes those, or maybe those will be free throw-ins. That would be nice of Canon to just be like, and if you buy any of these, here's the adapter. Just throw it in there. Because I think for a lot of us that are moving to an RF based camera, we probably do have, especially if you're spending this kind of money, you probably already have a fairly good collection of EF lenses. And I think that for those of us that are spending 2,500, or if you're looking at the R5, almost $4,000, throwing in the adapter to allow us to at least be able to use our existing lenses while we are possibly saving up to get some new RF glass, would be useful. So price-wise, we're looking at the EOS R5 at $38.99 with the included F4 24 to 105. We're coming in at $4,999, so 5,000. And these are both for the R5. So the R6 comes with body and two different kits, it looks like. So again, the R6 by itself, we're looking at $24.99 US. With the 24 to 105 STM lens, you're looking at $28.99. And if you want it with the F4 version of the 24 to 105, you're looking at $35.99. Now, price point for the actual lenses don't look actually that bad, except for the 100 to 500, which comes in at about $2,700, as you can see on the screen here. So the real question is, what are your thoughts? What do you think of the pricing? What do you think of the kit prices? Do you think Canon should have given us a bit of a break, bit of a deal if we actually got the unit as a kit? How many of you are going to be buying the body alone versus a kit? How many of us probably have an older 24 to 105? 
I do. And because of that, as long as I can get an adapter ring, I'll just keep using that for now. Sure, I'd love some new glass, but I, I got old glass, that'll, that'll function. Right now, I just need to get the camera body. So yeah, how many of you are buying body only? And if so, which one? R6, R5, comments below. And which of you are gonna get it as a kit? And if so, which body kit combo are you looking at? And are you gonna buy it right away? That's the other thing. I'm, I'm, I'm buying it. I've been saving up for this since a couple months ago. It's, body's coming, I'm getting it. How about you guys? I saw a lot of comments with people being like, I'm holding off, I'm gonna hold off till sometime later on in the fall, Black Friday, Christmas, something like that. Maybe they'll have a sale. Is that, is that what you're gonna be doing? Again, comments down below, guys. All right, we, we are gonna be watching this live event tomorrow morning. It's 8 a.m. Eastern time for those of us here where we live. And we are gonna be doing a little, just live for us, so we can actually talk with you guys. So 8 a.m. Eastern time, I'll be back online, YouTube. You guys can join in, kind of watch as I watch, and uh, we'll have a little chat going on. Should be fun. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave you there. Prices, R6, happening tomorrow. I wonder when the release date is. It says July 30th, I think, for the R5. Fingers crossed that the actual R6 comes out either then or earlier. Earlier would be awesome. All right, my friends. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Later.